still young. Happy birthday. Um, Lauren, I'm Lauren Williams Thank from you. the AJC. I'm just curious, as you went into these open runs, what impressed you most about how your teammates came back from the offseason? Uh, you know, I, I felt like m more of anything, they were um, focused on the, the IQ, right, learning the game. Um, you know, I feel like everybody here is talented, but um, it takes a level of understanding mentally, right, to mm -hmm. be able to use your gifts um, in, the, in the correct fashion. So. I feel like more than anything, guys are trying to apply themselves and, and learn the game, and learn the teammates' tendencies, and uh, just you know, trying to play with, within the flow of the game a little bit more. And uh, I like it. Yeah. And and how do you navigate being on a team and your name kind of consistently being in trade rumors? How do you kind of stay professional and and do what's still expected of you? Uh, I mean, I just do. You know, I mean, there's nothing you know that you know really forces me or drives me too besides uh just trying to trying to stay true to myself. You know, what I mean I'm not a person that comes in and that lets what's happening in my world affect, you know, somebody else's world, especially when we have to all come in together right as a facility and, you know, if I want to be looked at as a leader and all that good stuff, you know, what I mean I can't I can't let, you know, whatever's going on in my life affect affect everybody. So uh, I just try to think about it as not being selfish and um, you know, just handle what I gotta handle. Uh, John, uh, second what she said as far as happy birthday goes. Uh, I appreciate looking that. Looking forward to a great season from you. What have you been working on uh, throughout this off season? As she mentioned, we did see you in the summer, summer, summer games and such. Uh, every year since you've been a Hawk, we've seen something in your game improve, whether it's your three points, uh, shots, and things of that nature. So, what have you worked on this summer, and what are you looking to improve on? Uh, you know, always just you know, first and foremost, just looking overall, be a better player, be smarter, as I talked about, uh, be a better leader, be a better teammate. But um, skill wise, I've been just trying to work on. You know, my ball handling, um, my shot selection in terms of getting to my spot, right, and, and shooting the shots that I'm comfortable with, as well as just being able to create um, a myriad of options to get to my spots, right? You know, not over um, complicating the game, trying to simplify it through uh, just understanding my game more, right, and, and, and tightening up a couple screws and bolts. So uh, I, I'd just say creation, right, or my ability to create um, for myself and for others. Um, as well as my ability to play off the ball. So, uh, you know, I'm working on everything. And then uh, if I could just follow up quickly. Off the court, of course, you're uh, becoming known in the world of fashion uh, with the Baptists and such. Could you give us any updates on what you may have coming this fall or any new <laughs> apparel that you're working on? Yeah, um, definitely been an all-summer thing uh, for me with, you know, my team and um, just trying to work on, you know, growing myself um, personally through my brand and, uh, you know, expressing myself through my clothing. So, uh, you're definitely going to see a lot of more creative ideas. Uh, hopefully, you know, I can have some more success, a lot more success on the court. You know, that always helps uh, whatever I'm doing off the court. So uh, just going to try to keep positive energy for that and um, just try to stay focused. Hey, John. Uh, happy birthday again. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Uh, just wondering, how are you feeling health-wise? Um, your finger, of course, and then um, anything else that you've been dealing with. And also... What was it like playing with DeJounte and Trey in different program games? And um, what was it like going to Seattle and playing there and meeting up with Jamal Crawford and all of that? Yeah, I mean, uh, so my finger, my foot, uh, they're both doing well. You know, uh, foot, I definitely feel like has uh, healed completely. You know, I mean, the plantar fascia, just a matter of, you know, trying to take care of, my, take care of myself, you know, maintenance and um, being consistent, right, with uh, just taking care of my body. My finger, excuse me, um, my finger, uh, obviously, I feel like, you know, it's not going to be, be, be too pretty. Um, but uh, in terms of its functionality and, and my ability to use it for basketball, it hasn't, you know, affected me in any way. So just blessed that I can still play basketball with, uh, you know, you know the ailments that I do have. But, uh, not again, not taking away from anything I can do. So confident in that as well. So it's been a great, it's a good summer. And uh, in terms of playing with DJ and Trey, that's always, you know, Good, good to go out there with Trey. You know, I feel like with Trey, it's, you know, you know, like riding a bike. But with DJ, it was always, um, you know, going out there to see him and, you know, put ourselves in his city, his hometown, right? To go out there and meet Jamal. We just wanted to uh, put the, our, our best foot forward for DJ and try to welcome him to the team, welcome him to the A in any way we could. And why not go to his city, right? Go to his side of town and just try to, you know, embrace him that way. So it was great. And I definitely, you know, we put on a little show. So that was always uh, good to do, too, right? Get, get that chemistry started early. Hey, John. Um, hope all is well. Coach talked about um, 
Speaking of the trade talk, Coach talked about the talk that you all had and as far as that and what he dealt with when he was going through it. But how does that make you feel knowing the fact that your coach got your back like that, you know, to take time to really talk to you about that and um, let you know that, you know, you still a hawk and you want it? You know, uh, I knew Coach had my back before, but to hear him, you know, uh, say it again and continue to say it and to continue to just be a person I can come talk to, you know, he pulled me into the locker room to have a conversation. You know, it means a lot to me that uh, that he's thinking about me. But if there's any one person in that organization I feel like understands, you know, my perspective when it comes to that is coach, right? Being a coach for, you know, however many years he's been coached. Now I don't want to talk about it too bad. Uh, but, you know, he, he's seen a lot, you know what I mean? So I, I trust that he, he knows exactly what I'm going through. And uh, it's just good that I can confide in him, you know what I mean? It's cutthroat business. So um, just always good to have some reassurance from coach for sure. Not a basketball question, but 25 years young, JC. If you could pick one Old. piece of advice that you've gotten now through 25 years of life, what would it be that's kind of, you know, stuck with you? Uh, you know, outside of, uh, you know, my mom just, you know, trying to keep what she instilled in me in terms of my uh, my character, right, just being myself, trying to just be authentically myself, that's, that's one. And then I feel like the next part about it is, you know, she always told me, you know, write positive you know, keep a positive mind to, to aspire for more positive things, right? We can't ask for positive thinking negative or feeling negative. And then I'd say the last one is, you know, to, to not really try too hard, but to have the intent, right, to have the mentality, to know what you want, uh, but to not, you know, force yourself on anything, right? You sort of try to let it happen with the mentality and the intent, right, and, and the, uh, you know, approach that you already have it and that you want it. So, as I said, you know, not trying too hard, but still trying just enough. And I feel like finding that balance for me is uh, a big piece of advice that I always keep in myself is just to, to go with the flow and to uh, follow my first mind, even though I won't always be right. right? It's, it's a learning experience. So i um, try to flow it, flow it, let's say go with the flow. How do you feel heading to Abu Dhabi? And how do you feel like it's going to help team chemistry just being out there for so long? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I'm not too excited about that 16 hour plane ride. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience for sure. Going out to Abu Dhabi, you know, I don't know if I would ever really go there for any reason. So, obviously, like I said, not, you know, a place that I would have thought I was going, but uh, an experience that I'm um, happy to, to take, take a journey on with my teammates and, and to bond with them early in the season. I know that will help us uh, gain a, some chemistry just being someplace different uh, together. So, I'm hoping it all, all comes together in, in a way that we all hope to do, uh, it works you know, to work out. Problem. When you get a new pick and roll partner, another pick and roll partner, what do you expect to go through in, in camp and in the preseason with DeJounte to kind of get your timing and communication on the same page on, in the in the pick and roll? Um, you know, I, I mean, to be honest, the, the first thing that we're going to get is, you know, a lot of mess ups, right? You know, we're, we're not going to be perfect, right? We got to find the chemistry, right? You know, same thing with Trey, although we felt it chemistry, right, and we knew we had a, a feel for each other. You know, other guys understand that we have a feel for each other, too, and aren't just going to let us, you know, just go out there and do our thing. So it all comes to fine-tuning, right, getting into the practice gym and running a million pick and rolls until, you know, he knows where I like to catch the ball and I know how he likes to roll for him, you know, all that type of stuff, you know, we, we, we build on and we, and we eventually just naturally let happen, as I said before, so it's trying to do it and also letting it happen and trying to just uh, let it build into what it could be and just stay confident, stay positive. John, have you given any advice to Trey about having a newborn? And if so, can you, can you give up one that you get given him? I mean, the, the first, the first uh, piece of advice that I just gave him was, man, you, you know, you got to be on. You know, you, you're never really going to be off. You know, you come for practice, you know, Trey's Trey. You know, I'm mean, going around where he's outside, where there's media day, and then you got to go home to, you know, he, he's married, uh, as, a, as a lady at home, has a, a little one now. So you never really can turn it off. You know what I mean? You always, you know, you being outside, outside you're Trey Young and at home your dad now. You know what I mean? So it's always more responsibility than you are. You think you have, but it's something that he'll get used to. Um, you know, I always feel like having, you know, son or daughter makes you better, makes you 
hone in on being a better person, right? You're trying to show that next generation, your next generation, what you want, you know, what you, how you want them to act and how you want them to continue on their legacy. So, again, it takes some time, but, you know, he's always got to be on. John, what have you learned more about DeJounte being a teammate now, especially, like, on the court working with him? And is there anything that's kind of impressed you now that you're that close to him instead of just watching him in San Antonio? Yeah, I always, um, excuse me, I always knew he was a, uh, you know, say it this way, but he always had that dog in him, you know, a dog mentality. He's, he's, you know, he wants to win. He's not scared of anybody, you know, and I could see that, you know, even had a couple of interactions on the court against each other when we played. I'll let you guys go, you know, look at those. But um, if that shows you anything about what, you know, what's in here, um, I could feel it now in, in the way he speaks, you know what I mean? He's uh He's a damn good dude, and uh, I'm, just, I'm happy to have him on, on my team. I'm happy that he plays the way he does. He's just a hooper, you know what I mean? He doesn't try to do too much, goes out there and flows and plays his game. Uh, and then, to me, right now, one of the best defensive players in the NBA, leading the league in steals. Um, so, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm happy to have DJ on the squad, um, and I'm happy that he's, he's even more genuine, you know what I mean, than I would have thought not knowing him. So, again, happy that he's here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Bogey, how's your off season been? And uh, specifically, what was it like to uh, to train with Djokovic over the over the summer? Um, thank you. It was it was great summer, but short. Um, short in terms of how much time I spend in my country, but it's fine. Um, I'll survive. Uh, spending time with Novak was fun. Really a lot, a lot, a lot to learn for such a great, you know, athlete and a great person. And um, it was fun seeing him, you know, getting ready for the tournament he wasn't able to play. <laughs> but it was, he was really taking it serious, you know, and how much work he put in and how serious he, he was taking every single workout but yeah it was fun hey bogey um how upset were you that you weren't able to play for the serbian national team this summer yeah very i mean uh it was a great tournament you know um and and it was great for us until that game uh, elimination game against italy but i miss playing that basketball that's you know uh national team basketball is different you know there's no money involved there is no like uh, other stuff business stuff it's only like this is your team you represent your country here's the tournament elimination game starts uh, and that's it you just play out and hope you enjoy so I, I really miss it hey bogey uh, we Hi. know you won't be ready to start training camp but how are you feeling coming off of everything thank you <laughs> uh, I feel good I feel confident um, I'm in the last phase of my like close to the last phase of my recovery and as soon as I get the green light you know I'll be ready hopefully by the beginning of the season uh, or some maybe some preseason games we'll see how you know you never know uh, I learned a lot you know with this surgery and uh, this is the first surgery that I have like a really like a cut uh, so it's it's a quite experience and I'm learning I'm still learning How's it been seeing Murray kind of get used to the team? Uh, obviously, you haven't been able to work with him yet, but what have you yeah. seen? I mean, we, we just got together, you know, a couple of days ago, and guys been coming here for weeks already, you know, to, to, to practice and train, so we talked about it. And we are really excited to have him. You know, he brings that extra energy, extra effort, defense. He's a presence on the floor, all-star, so uh, lots of good stuff from him. And I'm, I'm really excited to play with him. You're welcome. Hi, Bogey. Last year you uh, started in two guard, but this year you're coming off the bench as a six man. Um, is there a different preparation, um, knowing that you can like focus on being a six man this year versus last year you were uh, coming out as a starter? Um, is there a different uh, mindset of, of being a, knowing that you're going to be the six man uh, first first off the bench this year? I mean. Obviously, we all know, you know, with media how everything goes. Um, 
It's kind of, I don't have that mindset like at the beginning of a season to be focused on like sixth man or whatever. I'll, I'll just embrace my role. Uh, yeah, we already built, built some relationship here. Coach knows what he can have for me. Uh, and I have a trust in him and a teammates, you know, so uh, we were just trying to put that chemistry together. And if we start winning, I always believe, you know, winning teams have more chances with in individual awards. So that's the mindset. That's great. Good. Thank you.